hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to insert drop down select option list values into your remote database after end of this video this is the output I'm reloading the browser I'm selecting the country name Korea before submit this selected value let's check my table at this moment this table country contains six records and the last country name is a Japan when I insert the country name Korea the ID name is 7 the country name Korea will, will be saved in this table submit see here we got a message country added successfully let's quickly switch over to the table we'll refresh the table again I'm browsing the table again see here we got the new record ID 7 the country name is Korea I'm using notepad++ for this example and in this page contains a simple HTML file code with headed x h1 and h2 and one select option values with submit button control let's save this file before writing the php code let's upload this page into my remote server we'll check the output how it looks the designing path on the browser i just logged into my remote server of my domain wpchannel.com i'm uploading the files into public underscore html folder which is a root folder select file this is a file let's open this page on the browser we'll check how it looks the designing part and this is the output of that code which contains one select option drop down list and button control I'm back to the coding part the first thing in the form I'm adding the attribute which is post and also notice in the select I have declared name is equals to country underscore name as well as a button also name submit let's write the php code above the dot type i'm adding php code to connect any database we need the database configuration settings for that i'm declaring the variables dollar host name is equals to local host dollar db is equals to my user database is wpchadvf underscore charan dollar username username dollar password password notice here i have declared the username and password are the dummy ones just for the security reasons i have not providing my real credentials but at the time of uploading this php file into my remote server i will change this username and password into real ones after adding the variables of the data connection i am declaring the connection is equals to new PDO objects between double quotes the first parameter we have to declare the host which is my SQL server my SQL my SQL colon host is equals to this one host name semicolon DB name is equals to dollar db comma the third parameter is a username and the last one the password if is set 
dollar underscore post between single quotes I am adding the button control name which is a submit dollar country name is equals to dollar underscore post between single quotes I am adding the select attribute name which is a country name semicolon dollar sql is equals to dollar con I am using prepare method to insert the values before insert the values let's log into my remote database of php my admin we'll check the table and the column names i just logged into my remote database of php my admin i'm expanding the database i'm expanding this user database and for this example i'm choosing tbl country let's browse this table and in this table country contains two columns one is id and the country name this id is a auto generated column at this moment there are six records let's switch over to the coding part we'll insert the value of the country name into this table country and here the insert statement is insert into the table name is tbl country column name is a country underscore name values colon country name colon country name semicolon dollar con begin transaction method dollar sql execute method array between single calls colon I am adding the country name this one dollar country name semicolon after successfully inserted the values from the select option values into my table I want to display the message for that I'm using echo to display the message h2 I'm closing the h2 country added successfully semicolon connection commit method after commit I'm closing the connection now that's it let's save this file we'll insert the values from this select option element I'm reloading the browser. I'm selecting the country name Korea. Before submit this selected value, let's check my table. At this moment, this table country contains six records, and the last country name is a Japan. When I insert the country name Korea, the ID name is seven. The country name Korea will. Be will be saved in this table submit see here we got a message country added successfully let's quickly switch over to the table we'll refresh the table again I'm browsing the table again see here we got the new record ID 7 the country name is Korea that's it if you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.